Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna to be setting up a Halloween themed aquarium. I set up a Halloween themed aquarium last year and I also set up a Christmas themed aquarium and those were really fun, so I wanna do it again this year. But before we get into that, I do have a few things I wanna update you guys here in my bedroom. I've had some people asking for updates on Toby, the pink belly side neck. There he is right back there, all alone in this 20 gallon tank. He's doing great though. I see him every single day up there basking. He's been eating good, but like I mentioned a few videos ago, that tank is definitely big enough for one more baby turtle. So I'm thinking I might get one soon. I don't know. I did a spin the wheel video a couple weeks ago, which decided which cichlid I should get for my 75. And I'm thinking, how cool would it be if I did a spin the wheel challenge to decide what kind of baby turtle to go with Toby in the 20 gallon? So let me know if I should do that. Actually, how about this? If this video gets 2,000 likes, I will do a spin the wheel and buy the turtle at lands on video. 2,000 likes. I know you guys can do it. But anyway, this box turtle enclosure was down in the fish room. But when I brought the 55 gallon downstairs, I had to bring this one up because there was literally no room for it down there. But these guys are doing great. I'm pretty sure they buried themselves. But they were both out this morning and they both ate a night crawler, so they're all good. Then while we're up here, might as well update you guys on Lou. He's just doing his thing, chilling. There's the snail, doing snail things. And the two albino bristlenose placos, right there and there, all good. But now onto the point of this video, the Halloween tank. It is gonna be going in my room right here on this piece of furniture. And I'm not sure if I wanna use one of the 10 gallons that I already have, or if I wanna like get a completely new tank from the store. I was thinking it would be cool to get like a glow tank, like the ones that glow up under a certain light, but I'm not completely sure. So I'm thinking we'll just go to the pet store, see what they have, see what kind of decorations they have. And if I don't like what they have at the store, then we'll just come back and use what we have here. But I'll see you at the pet store. Alrighty guys, just got done inside of PetSmart. Let me show you what I got. Right here we got a pumpkin decoration. I already have a pumpkin decoration from last year, but I wanted a different one. So I got this one, it's a bit bigger. And that one should also glow under blue light, which should be cool. I also got another purple plant. It's like a medium sized one. I believe I have a shorter one. Then I have a taller orange plant that I'll probably use. Right here I have a timed outlet. This is for my 25 gallon in the fish room, just so I don't have to manually turn it on and off every day. Then over here we got the gravel. I was gonna get all black gravel, but then I saw that they had black and white and I thought that'll look cool with like the orange and the purple so that's what I went with it should look pretty cool so we're gonna head home and start setting up our Halloween tank alrighty guys we made it back got all of our stuff right here now I'm gonna start clearing this off so we can put the tank there Here we have our 10 gallon tank, along with all of the Halloween stuff from last year. This, this, these two plants, and then these two, these are Christmas ornaments. I forget where I got these, but they were cheap and I thought they would look good in an aquarium. So I got them for this reason, for a Halloween theme tank. As you can see, it's a little evil tree and a pirate skeleton guy. So those should be cool. We've got our LED light, our filter, and then this like green plant, which I believe glows under blue light. And before we get started setting this tank up, I do wanna mention I am not gonna be adding fish in this tank or any living creature, at least as of yet. I might eventually add fish to it, I don't know. So that's why I'm gonna be adding in these Christmas ornaments. These aren't meant to stay underwater, so they're probably toxic to fish. But since we're not gonna have any fish in the tank, I can use these. If I do eventually decide to put fish in this tank, then I'll take these ornaments out and I'll do a complete water change, just to be safe, but for now, we're good. So we're now gonna get started setting up our tank. If I was putting fish in here, I would wipe the inside of it with a wet rag. So if you're setting up a tank for fish, be sure to rinse out the tank first. And you're also gonna to wanna to rinse down all the gravel, but again, not gonna have any live fish, so we're just gonna dump it straight in. That looks really cool. And if we needed to, we could do with just one bag of that gravel. But since we got two, we're gonna put both in. There we go. Yeah, that gravel looks awesome. We're now gonna add in all of our plants. And again, if you're gonna have live fish, you need to rinse the plants first. But in our case, we're good. So we're gonna have this taller one near the back then bury that. Then we'll have the purple tall one over here, kind of like that. Then to kind of switch it up, we'll have the other purple right here. And I'll probably move these plants around a little bit whenever we have the main decorations in here, but we'll just kind of leave them there for now. And again, here's the decorations we're working with. We got our big pumpkin that we just got today, the smaller pumpkin that we got last year, this tombstone that we got last year, then the two Christmas ornaments, the tree and the pirate. So I think I want to have this pumpkin on the left and this pumpkin on the right, like right there. I'll deal with that plant in a second. Then we'll do this pumpkin up here. I think we'll put the purple plant like right there. And by the way, I recommend rinsing the decorations before you put them in the tank. So we'll have the skeleton like right there. The tombstone can be like 
like the centerpiece kind of it'll be facing this way then we'll put this green plant right back here then the tree can go like there yeah i think that looks pretty good just look at all the different colors it's gonna look awesome when we get water in there and put the light on and with that being said let's start filling it with water All right, guys, the tank is full of water. And I mean, you can't even tell that it's full of water. Look at how clear that is. But I do want to mention, if you're adding fish to your tank, use water conditioner. Again, not adding fish to this tank. So I did not add this because I don't want to waste it for no reason. But yeah, that looks absolutely sick. But now we're going to hook up the filter. And this is the only filter I had laying around. It is going to take up a lot of space in the tank and look pretty ugly. But that's all I had. But we will put that like right there it doesn't really matter where it's gonna go and then we're gonna put a black background on as well so it should blend with that pretty well so it won't be as noticeable but i am going to plug the filter in and there it goes and i'm not gonna put a filter pad in there right now if i do add fish in here then i'll do that then so the only purpose the filter is serving right now is just to keep the water moving because if the water stands still for too long it'll start getting all nasty and since there's no living creatures in this tank there will be nothing for the filter to filter out so we're all good there and i can't wait to see this tank with the light on it so that's what we're gonna do right now i've got a glass hood right here that is what our led light is gonna sit on just like that and now let's plug it in Boom! Oh my gosh. That looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Before I show you guys too much more of the tank, I do want to put the black background on there because I think that's going to make the colors pop even more. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you guys. A few moments later. And boom, there it is. I was definitely right about the black background. Makes all these colors pop so much more. And it also makes the filter not stick out as much. But just look at that tank. That looks so cool. The black and white gravel was definitely the right call. I love the way that turned out. Oh, and I completely forgot this led light also has a nighttime mode let's see how that looks oh that is awesome it's like glowing the pumpkins are glowing yeah that green plant i thought it was glow in the dark oh my gosh that is so cool i don't know about you guys but i definitely want to see some fish in this tank we can make it a glow fish tank i've never had glow fish before and i'm not really sure how i feel about them i'll have to look more into that and find out how they get them to actually glow because i know it's not natural so we'll see about that but definitely let me know what kind of fish you want to see in this halloween tank here's another look at it with just that white light it literally looks so good yeah and like i was mentioning if i do put fish in here i will remove those two ornaments because those are not aquarium ornaments so it's more than likely that they would be harmful to any fish we put in here and also if i get fish in here i will completely drain this tank take out all the decorations i would literally just tear down the tank clean everything and then put it back together so yeah let me know if you want to see fish in there and let me know what kind also let me know if you want to see more theme tanks i did a couple last year the halloween and christmas tanks so let me know if i should do another christmas tank this year it's coming up we could even try and do a thanksgiving tank i don't know if they make thanksgiving aquarium decorations but i'm sure we can figure something out just let me know and also like i mentioned earlier if this video gets 2,000 likes i will do a spin the wheel challenge to figure out what other turtle i should get to go with toby in this 20 gallon tank i mean look at him he looks too tiny in there there's so much room to add one more baby turtle and i really want to do that video so please get this video to 2,000 likes so i can do it and that pretty much is going to do it for this video i'm definitely pleased with how our halloween tank turned out let me know if you guys are too i do have today's comment of the day and that goes out to thomas alexander carson's aquatics posted a new video instant click thank you thomas for the support actually i want to thank all of you for the support i don't really say stuff like this a lot but if it wasn't for you guys i would not be doing this you guys are my motivation and i know i haven't been uploading like that that much recently but i'm I'm gonna try and fix that i do have a lot to do in the next couple weeks so i'm telling you now you can expect a lot more videos very very soon but anyway if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you liked this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i am going to see you in the next video